welcome Capricorn to your June beginning of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting straight in here for you Capricorn. Getting straight into your energy or what you're thinking, feeling or the energy surrounding you. Capricorn. Best message for Capricorn please. Best message for Capricorn in the beginning of the month. right there. Man, that came flying off. Uh, Buddha prepares upside down in reverse. And clarifying on the Buddha prepares in reverse. Clarifying on the Buddha prepares in reverse for Capricorn, please. Prepares. Vitality. It's talking about this new vitality that's going on around you, um, but finding this new vitality with the Buddha prepares. Um, the Buddha prepares is telling you that you need to be in a state of preparation, okay, leaving behind anything that does not serve you. If you feel hesitant and slow to move, don't hold yourself back. Indeed, because of your inner work and preparation, you may find yourself able to influence others without knowing how this will happen. Um, so move with certainty and courage. It's no longer time to wait. The world is ready and you're ready too. So this is really letting you know that there was a period of waiting and planning and this has now come to an end. There's no reason now to just sit around without taking any action. So now it's time for action for a new vitality. So finding the new vitality to start moving. Um, you know, the sun is shining and now it is time to open up um, very beautiful so the new vitality you know not only does it allow you to have that but it's it's a you know revitalization right focus enthusiasm this newfound joy the joy and the understanding of this new energy of how people will lift your energy and spirits and how you can lift others as well right Finding people with the same kind of vibration. When you're out there moving around, my friends, make sure that you're finding people who have that same vitalization that you have. Making sure that they have desires for happiness, desires to want to make things move, want to make creations happen, right? Wanting to do things that are beautiful, you know? Not just finding that negative person, you know, really watch people who want to dwell on difficulties. Yeah, they're carrying a different kind of light than you. You're over here shining this kind of light and they're being, being very dark um, and just kind of stuck, right? Stay away from people who just always seem to complain, right? Because that's not going to help you move. This new found energy. So getting straight into it. The situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Whoa, Wheel of Fortune coming out with the flow, going with the flow, your own flow, that newfound vitality, just like I just said, pretty much everything I just said is talking about that flow. Making sure that you're finding people who want to have a great destiny, who are prepared for the future, who want to live in the present with a beautiful outcome and um, realization of, you know, life has a lot of things to offer, not just sitting around being negative about everything that's going on. Okay, in the past. What's going on in the past over here, the recent past. Teach. Some of you might be teachers. And in the new future, the new future, the near future. Clarifying on the near future, please, for Capricorn. Seeking the truth, the understanding, understanding that this is where I want to be. Wow. 
Okay, so beautiful cards over here. Maybe you were teaching someone at one time, or you had, you know, you have Buddha over here. Mind blown, right? Because Buddha is a teacher. So maybe you needed somebody to teach you. Maybe you had someone teaching you how to um, be more um, vitalized, right? Maybe you were learning, you know, Let's see what's going on over here. Having the number five with the teacher over here is talking about the shepherd, the advice, the wisdom, the reflection, and the belief. Talking about the hierophant over here, the teaching of the wisdom, the learning, and the beliefs. The understanding that things might not be going the way you want them to go. Maybe you were in the understanding that I'm in a waiting period now trying to get out of things that don't serve me. The unwanted, right? Finding the gentleness within yourselves and others. Preparing your way or better things to shape around within your life. Maybe you were watching someone. Maybe you had a friend who was teaching you this. Trying to hold on to faith. And telling yourself, you know, there's other things that can happen. Observing. Teaching is also a part of observation and going through reflections as well. So it can be any of the above, right? So let's grab a, some cards over here. So yeah, you did. You definitely went through this teaching um, part over here. and learning with wisdom. Yeah, you felt like you were kind of out in the cold. You kind of felt like there was there was doom and gloom. Kind of feeling like you weren't going to get out of this until you were actually being taught something, learning something, using the wisdom, keeping the faith. Feels like when faith came back, it kind of grabbed you out of that and said everything's going to be okay. Just let it go with the tower and you started letting it go. But it just feels like because the Buddha prepares you, you're still in the waiting game. Right? You're like still waiting. Over here, you're kind of frustrated. There's some frustration trying to think. There could be things from the past that you just can't let go of. Nostalgic things that keep coming to mind. And you're trying to work through things. Maybe someone from the past came back and helped you get past this. Whatever it was, it could have been a celebration that they... Somebody wanted you to go to a celebration. Maybe you're remembering a celebration, a birthday, something of this sort. However it is, it's bringing in the happiness. It's bringing in the new vitality. It's raising the vibrations. Yeah, getting you out of the six of, or the eight of swords, excuse me. Getting you out of the eight of swords, getting away from the anxieties and the things that are holding you back. You don't feel like you're in a bubble anymore. There's something that's like the bubbles popped. And it could be literally this person who's come back and said, hey, you know what? This is the way it is. And you're learning. And you're listening. It could even be your higher self. Maybe you're, you know, learning how to meditate and finding all these things, reflecting upon things. <clears throat> Take it how it resonates. can be different for everyone. However it is, though, you pop this bubble and now you feel like the world is fresh, the sun is shining, and now the Wheel of Fortune is here. Why? Because the cycle of this is over. And this new cycle has come. So now all you have to do is just relax. Kick back. Enjoy the cycle. But as I said, remember, keep negative people away from your bubble. Your own bubble. Right? Because you don't want to end up in this bubble again. No, you're going to go with the flow and say, this is the way things are going to be. I'm prepared to do this. I'm still kind of waiting, but now this card says no more waiting around anymore. Move. So you're going to take that action and start moving with better hope, faith, energy. Yeah, there it is again. Hermit, there it is again. Paraffin again. Saying this is the faith and a belief system that you have gone. There's promises maybe that you've even made to yourself. Saying, you know what, I'm not going to do that anymore. Having better relationships with people. Knowing who your enemy is. And staying away from those people. Hey, you know what, these are my foes. These are people who want to keep me down. I'm keeping away from them. 
not having a relationship with them. Yep, staying away from them, Knight of Swords. Not going towards them because they're not going to make me happy. They're not going to do anything. And this is the judgment card because they have, all they do is bring bad karma, bad cycles, bad karma. And this is breaking those chains of that karma that you may have had with someone else and saying that's not going to happen. And it could even be breaking the own, your own karma. When you allow yourself to dwell in unhappiness and you're doing all these things that are not good, you're building your own karma, allowing the bad to come through, allowing your will of fortune to be upside down, not getting out. So now you've made promises that, you know what, instead of allowing this thing to completely drag me under the water, I am going to stand above the water and say, you know what, stuff happens, but I'm not going to build bad karma about that. I'm sure there's other things we can build bad karma about. It doesn't have to be this one. It's just one step at a time. So at least if I learned on this one, I can break those chains to get on to the next one, right? <laughs> get on the next one. And this gives you patient planning and has the knowledge and the understanding. You have like a tree of life over here going on too with the seven of coins because you're, you're building fruit. You're planting the seeds and getting the knowledge away from it and knowledgeable about what karmic cycles you are not going to go through again. Yep. Recognizing the hard work that you put in recognizing yourself and your new vitality and having the understanding of how we can work this together. Knowing where you're going with the three of coins and how to get there, right? So, and this is the seeking the truth. And that's what you're doing here. It's saying, I have the understanding to do all of this so I can have and seek the ultimate truth. I might not get it all, right? Because there's only certain things we're allowed to know, but it doesn't matter. I can still seek the truth that is truthful for me to have better understanding. Right? So, yeah. So, seeking the truth over here is going to, you know, bring in this understanding. Bringing in that intuition. Questioning things. Allowing the answers to come through. Not allow allowing deception and inequality to come through. Saying, I'm... You're not better than me. I'm just as good as you. No one is better than each other. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Some of us have, you know, worse karma than others. Some of us are bad people. But in, you know, in the ways, in the ways of truth, right? We all have the determinations. We all have intuition and you're understanding this and you're saying, well, within my own private thoughts and feelings, I can avoid allowing myself to be taken to a place of, vul of, of vulnerability, not allowing myself to become vulnerable to other people's naysaying, other people's stuff, because that's really what it feels like. You have a negative Nancy around here is trying to drag you down, staying away from that, saying, no, I'm sorry, you're not with this new vitality that I have. And you want to just bring me down all the time or tell me I'm not this. I'm not good enough. I'm not, you know, no, no. It's, you know, being wary of that one-sided relationship in which the other person is always better than you or think that they have more responsibilities than you. Somehow or another, they know their roles in the relationship and believe that you don't have one. And you're coming to the truth saying this is not true. Having, I have ideal opportunities as well, and I know where I'm going, and I have the ways and means of getting there. And this is also avoiding any kind of obligations that people want you to put yourself into um, that is not for your benefit. Maybe it's only for their benefit. <clears throat> so, seeking the truth in the near future, you're saying, nope. I know now where I'm going and what kind of people I want to be around. Absolutely getting a wheel of fortune again, making cycles and changes again. So you're just going from one cycle to a new cycle. Why? Because you've learned. So it's like you've learned that this is where you want to be. And now you're going to seek the truth and say, you know what? This is the absolute truth. And that's going to change again. But, you know, the only difference is this is a wheel of fortune and this is a world. I'm sorry. I think I said they were the same thing. I didn't mean to say that. 
This is bringing in the good fortune and the understanding. This is changing your world so that you can walk through. But what's the difference in the end? They're both changes, right? The only difference is this is going to actually end a whole chapter where this is just going to bring in the cycles of change and good fortune and understanding. This over here is going to say, well, now that I understand everything, I'm not walking, I'm not walking in that chapter anymore. And now you have a new, whole new chapter. I mean, if this is your book, you could literally say, my new chapter in life is called Seeking the Truth. I mean, and that's really what it was, right? That's your book. So, yeah, you're going to walk into this new world because you're going to say, none of this, because I have understanding, is suitable for me. Taking the leap of faith in its own ways as well. Yeah, and this is bringing on the Ace of Wands. Yeah, because it's going to allow you to take the action where it's needed. And it's also kind of like giving a peace offering to yourself. Could even be for some of you who are super spiritual, you could say, I'm even offering a peace offering to my soul, to my higher guide, saying, don't worry about it because I learned and I'm not going to do that again. So don't, don't fret. Don't fret, right? Because it's like you and yourself. Offering yourself your own forgiveness, your own peace offering. So it doesn't matter. I'm never going to allow you to go through that again. Because I've learned. There's no reason for that. Yeah, and brings in the Ten of Cups. And this is going to change everything around. And this is going to bring in this successful new you. But it's so successful, but it's going to be that you have this new vibe. Remember, this is the overall message of this reading, right? You're bringing in this, and this vitality here is like this light shining. Because you're going to see things and perceive things from a different point of view about relationships and the way that this person is, this job, whatever this situation is. How you're conducting yourself within whatever situation. Or how other people were conducting things around you. Maybe you let it go on too long. And now you're saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to allow that. In the near future, it will never happen again. Why? Because I've already learned that karma. That's a lesson learned. Oh, boy, is it with the eight of coins. Looking at it, inspecting it, and saying, yeah, th that's done. I matured past that. I don't need that. That leads to four of cups that I don't need. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your sorrows. I don't need your agonies. I don't need your negative Nancy behavior and I'm expecting everything and that's exactly what I've decided. I don't want negative people in my life because they bring me down. Hey, people have problems. That's different. But to always be where you can never grow and it's always a pity party, you're saying that's not going to happen. I can't afford to do that. It doesn't get me anywhere. And in the end, you may even feel Capricorn like, you know what? They're playing me a fool and I'm allowing it. So I, that's not going to ever happen again. Right? And that's really what it kind of feels like, right? You're kind of like putting yourself out there. And then they're like walking on you. And it's because you're trying to do it all for the right reasons. But that doesn't ever help them. Because as soon as, let's, let's just say you gave them a bunch of money because they said they needed to pay the electric bill. You paid the electric bill. You expect to go back and have them happy. But they're not. Oh, woe is me. Now I got another bill I got to pay. Or, oh, woe is me. This didn't happen. Or, oh, woe is me. And you're like, but I just gave you this. And then you take them out. And you go do other things. And you guys go celebrate. And then you talk to them the next day. And it's, oh, woe is me. I, I have a tummy ache from drinking too much wine. What the hell? And it's like there's never any gratitude. There's never any happiness. It's always woe is me. And you're just kind of like, this leaves me down in the dumps. It's not getting me anywhere. Right? It, it just brings me down. So it's this thing, right? Where I can't do that anymore. It's not self-rewarding. And then it almost, like for how many of you, right? If you don't do something for them, then they're pissed off at you. Oh, you left me on the cold. You hate me. No. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see what the angels have to say using the life purpose cards. Right off the bat, you'll reward yourself. Those of you who like body art, you want some, you know, piercings, tattoos, whatever you're into, a massage therapy, energy healing, uh, Ray K, you know, exercise training, go to the gym, whatever you're doing for body work, go do it. It's actually going to bring in more vitality. It's going to make you feel even more better, right? Day spa, get your nails done, whatever it is that you can do to your body that you want done, that maybe you've been trying to get down there to do because this is what makes you happy. Go be happy. Keep your energy high. Do it for yourself. Okay. Let's see what else you can do. Wow. How nice is that? It's like, hey, it's the perfect time. Don't worry about what they're doing. Find the friend that you would like to go with you that just makes you happy and go have fun. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Just keep trusting in yourself. You know where you're going. Hang out with your family. Loving your family and friends is the center of your life purpose. Just hang out with the ones that make you happy. Don't worry about those. Hey, if they can't make you happy, there is nothing you can do about that. It looks like you've already tried everything you can, Capricorn, and you just can't do it. You, you're, you know, you just can't. The only they can make their own happiness, strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And isn't that the truth? Isn't that 100? Okay. And you have the strength and the courage to do this. It might be kind of sad if you're telling them, I'm sorry, this is going to happen this way. Um, you know, I'm making a new chapter. Um, but, you know, maybe you need to tell them too. You need to pucker up uh, over here, little boy, little girl, right? Stop acting like a little child. Get out of that depression mode. Feel life. Live life. Maybe you can strengthen them as well. You have all this strength within you. Who knows? Maybe in the end, they'll see you get strong. Maybe they'll want to follow and lead. You don't know. Right? Maybe they'll come knocking at the door in three months and be like, I see you're all happy and I'm trying to get happy too. How did you do that? Here, I'll tell you how I did that. Here, I'll teach you. And then maybe we'll just go right back over here again and say, don't worry, I'll teach you. You never know, my friends. You never know. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.